everybody, and welcome to my new A-S-M-R video. Today I wanted to make a little video about my tattoos. I've got three tattoos in total, and I thought I'd make a little short video about so, not sure if I'm a fan of this angle, but whatever will roll with it, seeing as we're already filming. I will show you my first of three, of th the three, my first of the three tattoos that I have for you. The first one is this cute, simple, a triangle, a triangle, 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 triangle. It is a triangle, and me and my two best friends all got this tattoo in London. Do you want to guess how much it cost? We were in London, so I think that's why the price was ramped up so high. It was more than I wanted to pay, but... We were all there, and we were all wanting a tattoo, and it was available to us in that moment in time, so that is what we did. We went and got a tattoo together. The price, if I remember correctly, was... Seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five pounds. It was either seventy-five or seventy, and I remember I was not happy paying that price for it. But I already knew it was going to be that price before we paid. But, like I said, we were all ready to get a tattoo. We were all there, and we just thought, why not? We'll never be here again. So, it was an expensive triangle. Uh, we'd been wanting to get a tattoo together, a matching tattoo for a while, but we weren't sure of like what to go for. So we kept like throwing around ideas, like maybe we should get this or that. Or maybe we should have three dots for the three of us. Or maybe we should have... Like we were joking around with the idea of putting a graveyard on our bodies. Because we used to sit in the cemetery quite a lot. So we were like really unsure of what we were going to go for for a long, long time. But we ended up going with a triangle. Because it was simple, each of the side represents one of us, and that's what we decided to go for in the end. Uh, did you know that the strongest shape is a triangle? Fun fact. And we support one another. Just the way the structure of a triangle supports itself. Now, on to my second tattoo. And this one is kind of a big step up. This tattoo cost me £140. But it's worth it. Let me show you this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in easily, so just bear with me. Oh, 
was showing a bit of skin. Don't bat me, YouTube. One moment. She's alive. She's alive. I'm trying not to drop my laptop because it's got my phone on it, which is what I'm recording on. Uh, look at that bitch. Look at her. Look at her, 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 look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at all those, all those colors. Now, before we got this triangle tattoo, me and my friends, we were all in Blackpool. And we were planning on getting a tattoo on my birthday whilst we were in Blackpool, but that never came to fruition because we were all undecided of what we wanted and I didn't want to get one just to get one on my birthday I wanted to get one so that it was meaningful to us and right for us so that's why we waited till London where we were all happy with a design uh, but while we were in Blackpool that day we found some water applicational tattoos whatever they're called and uh, it was we found a unicorn one and it was a bit like this but it was an actual unicorn head and uh, that's where the inspiration came for this and uh, we, my friend originally picked the unicorn out for me as a joke, like she thought I was gonna look stupid with it on me, but, uh, when she put it on, she was kind of shocked how well it worked, and, uh, that propelled us with the idea to get this done. And, uh, I was originally going to go for rainbow coloured hair, like have each a strand of colour of the rainbow, but the tattoo artist was saying that might be a bit overkill, and I kind of agree with him, I kind of like the way it is. Uh, and if you haven't already noticed, it is Lady Gaga. This is Lady Gaga. Ra ra ah ah rama rama ma ga ga ooh la la wajaba romance. Ah, my neck hurts in this position. But yes, it is Lady Gaga as a unicorn. Lady Gaga and unicorns are mystical, magical creatures, and it was my friend's idea after she after we'd put the unicorn on to like have it done as a real tattoo but with Lady Gaga's face and I loved that idea very much so that I went and got it and uh, the tattoo artist asked me what colour lips I wanted to go for so I said a red red colour because I feel like she wears a lot of red lipstick and especially during the Born This Way era it was kind of a look so we went with red and we just kept the original kind of hair colour from the water tattoo and I'm in love with it honestly and I was I wanted it to be like mystical so I asked him if we could have sort of like a bit around 
the actual hair. So I put like all these purpley, bluey dots on. And I live for it. Live for it. Anyway, with that out of the way, we're on to my third and final tattoo. And this is my newest one. You might have seen it already earlier on because all my tattoos are on my left arm. Oh, this really hurts my neck like this. Oh well. My last tattoo is this. It looks twisted here, but I can assure you they are very straight lines. That's probably the best as we're getting. And that way is the right way around for the LGBT flag. So yeah, I wanted another colourful tattoo because I kind of lived for the colour of my Lady Gaga one. There you go, you can see. It is practically essentially a barcode of pride. The LGBT flag colours. Uh, I was thinking about how to get this done for a while. And I just decided that I wanted it to be small and cute. And uh, me and my friend were going into Blackpool. We went into Blackpool again for another day out. Like after all this, obviously. And... Uh, this tattoo is really recent. I've had it for like, uh, like f five days. So it is still peeling and it's scarred, but it is going to look better. I don't know if you can see the yellow. It looks a bit greeny, but uh, hopefully that will heal up to look more yellow. The tattoo artist said it'll probably not look right straight away and then once it heals it'll look the way it's supposed to so I hope that it heals beautifully. It kind of looks like a green within the yellow so well, that's not what I want so you know. And I wanted it this way so that it looked right to me when I look at it. So when I look at it this way, it goes from right to left, from red to violet, which is how I want it. And I was kind of thinking of the idea of doing that and it being like the right way around for people. But then I realized it kind of twists. And it doesn't look so fabulous after all. But oh well, who gives a toss? I still think it looks pretty nice, no matter what I do with it. Now I just like looking at my wrist and seeing a little pop of colour. Uh, so yes, I'm waiting for that to heal. I'm using a little pot of... Uh, cream that I bought there for three pounds. I'm thinking about my next tattoos that I want and I have a few ideas in mind of what I'm going to get. So I might do another update video in the future with my other tattoos. If you've got any tattoos, why not post them in the comments section below. Show me your tattoos, put them on Instagram, put somewhere. I'd love to see them. Anywho, I think that is about it. I will just say um, that they are a little bit painful to get done, but I love the symbolism to them and what they represent to me as a person. That is why I go and withstand the pain for the tattoos. La 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 Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some more. I'm not sure when, but I will. 
I'm thinking maybe I want a cornfield in like a circle, in like sort of a circular space. Uh, because it always reminds me of my grandma, and I kind of want the cornfield to be there, and then the sky to be in the circle, like a dark blue sky with like stars in the night sky, because whenever she goes on holiday, she always says like, she looks up at the stars, and she thinks of us, her grandchildren, and I always thought that was really cute, and it just reminds me of positive, nostalgic times in my life, so I definitely want to get something along that nature. Another tattoo idea I've got is, I want, I'm not a nugget. This was also, well me and my friend were trying to go vegan, and we were like researching like animal cruelty and everything, and I think it was like Peter or Viva or something like that, they had like a pack of stickers, and uh, they sent this pack of stickers, and one of the stickers was of a little chicken, and it had a speech bubble coming out of it, and it goes, I am not a nugget, and it was, it was like really funny to us at the time, and we ended up going to a Nicki Minaj concert, and while we were like waiting, while the, all the support acts were coming on, and while the music was playing, my friend was shouting out, I am not a nugget, and it was just so funny, like everyone was looking like, what the hell is this bitch about, I am not a nugget, what does that even mean, and I just, I'm trying to go vegan myself, so I just think it would be funny, it would make me laugh, and it would be cute, and it'd be something to add a little pop of colour with. So that's what I was originally going to get before I got this rainbow tattoo, but um, it, the tattoo artist was getting ready to close the shop, and they were saying how it would take longer to get that done. So they'd, they'd only be able to do the rainbow one, so I was happy to get that done, and I did. Uh, I would say that's about it, to be quite frank. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and I hope to see you in the future. Ciao for now.